Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Wednesday, October 27, 2010, and this is an update on the progress of the bat cell that I've been creating. Um, ran, some, ran some tests the other night when, uh, when the cell was initially completed. If you go to my justin.tv forward slash Zero Fossil Fuel channel, you'll find a few videos there archived for a little while. I think uh, seven days is the maximum that they're archived there. And you can check the, uh, the results that I obtained. Uh, they were about 4.99 to 5.00 mmW across the board. What really impressed me about the, the operation of the cell, though, however, is that the mmW efficiency output was linear perfectly linear regardless of the amount of power that I applied to the cell. I did tests, I ran tests anywhere from 22 watts of energy input all the way up to almost 300 watts of energy input. And in all cases, regardless of the voltage or current I was passing into the cell, my output measurements remained precisely flat in terms of efficiency, 5.00 mmW. Uh, the next thing that I tried was I tried plugging the fluid leveling holes that are positioned in the center of the chamber dividing walls that allow fluid to equalize between all six chambers. Uh, the way I have the plates oriented, my, my prediction was that they would not cause any leakage. And when I plugged those holes with, with some adhesive, allowed it to dry, refilled each individual cell now because the, the fluid would not equalize by itself, put the cell back together and tested the, tested the MMW efficiency of the cell with those, with those holes plugged, 5.00 MMW. Again, so what that tells me is that there was, as I predicted, no current leakage or no measurable or appreciable current leakage through the fluid leveling ports as I designed it uh, with the orientation of the plates on either side of the fluid leveling holes. So I reopened the fluid leveling holes, put the cell back together, and allowed the cell to run overnight at a very low input power of about 25 watts just to condition the plates and allow it to continue to run and, and uh, boil out or get rid of any of the impurities that uh, may still be leaching into the electrolyte from the adhesive that I used to put together. Unfortunately, when I returned the next morning, the top cover that I had created broke. And the way it broke was the, the uh, top cover split. There are three radial splits around the hole that I drilled in the top cover that's threaded for the nylon gas fitting. Fortunately, I've got a piece of half-inch plexiglass laying around the shop. I cut that to fit with the bandsaw, and then I simply took the existing cover, which hasn't completely fallen apart, placed it on top with the gasket still assembled, used it to locate all of the holes with my drill press on the top cover, and uh, what I will do then is I will complete drilling the holes around the perimeter. Then I will dis disassemble the gasket, put the screws through the new cover, and then use the screws through the new cover to align the position of the gasket as it goes back down into place underneath the bottom of the new top cover. Um, once that's complete, I'll be uh, playing games with electrolyte concentration and hopefully uh, tweaking the efficiency of the cell just a little bit more. So that's it. Uh, assembly has gone very, very well, and the tests are, well, not exactly what I had hoped, but it's still better than, uh, better than anything I've produced to date, and uh, I did achieve several goals. Uh, the first goal being that uh, I, I do have a method now of equalizing the uh, fluid level in chambers um, without current leakage without a negative impact on the efficiency of the cell. So that's one, one very big plus, and I did uh, achieve a very even gas distribution throughout each of the six cells. So if you have not subscribed to my channel already, I certainly hope you will. And uh, I do hope that you enjoy the series that I'm producing on the cell. I, uh, I'm not really going to produce a set of detailed plans because the overall size of the, of the plates is really arbitrary. Uh, you can build this cell um, 
just using the basic concepts that I present here in the videos to practically any scale it to any size that you like. So um, I will show you the details of how I go about building it, but I'm not going to put it put together any detailed set of blueprints other than just a basic set of drawings. Once I do produce those sets of plans, you will find them at altenergy.org. And now it's time for me to get back to work. Peace everyone.